Hey guys, welcome to the JHIP show. My name is JHIP, and today I wanted to give you my top five video games I would play for the rest of my life. Now, this is a response video to JLove81 and to Video Game Lover53, both really good YouTubers, and I suggest you check out their channels. Their links will be in the description below. And also, I really think you should check out those videos, and this seems like a fun idea. So, yeah, let's get to it, because this is a very hard one. Trust me, I, you're going to see some honorable mentions because I can't just nail it down to five. So starting off this list, number five is going to be Devil May Cry, uh, specifically the first one. Um, I just have a lot of fun with Devil May Cry 1. I don't know what it is. I like Devil May Cry 3. I like Devil May Cry 4. I haven't played Devil May Cry 5 yet. But Devil May Cry 1 just has it all for me. It has the atmosphere... Uh, Dante is one of the coolest characters ever, and uh, just the abilities too. I love the lightning blade and the fire gauntlets that you get. Uh, also, I kind of have a history with this because if you got Resident Evil Code Veronica X, you would get the demo. And this is the original demo I had ever since I was a kid, and I played that shit to death. And when I got my hands on Devil May Cry 1, I played that to death, and it's just a really fun game, and I highly recommend it. Another game from my childhood is going to be WWF No Mercy for the N64. And I have a ton of nostalgia for this game. Um, growing up as a wrestling fan, I didn't have cable. And the only way I would watch wrestling is through VHS tapes. I had uh, WrestleMania 4, SummerSlam, a bunch of other tapes that I would watch over and over again. And as a kid, I had an N64, and this is one of the games I had as a kid. This isn't my original copy, but it still means a lot to me. Uh, the modding community for No Mercy is fantastic. Like seeing updated rosters of like No Mercy people looks really good, and honestly, like it's just a lot of fun, and it makes me want to play it again. And Another thing that was really good about this game was the story mode. The story mode for No Mercy was very in-depth, and we didn't see a lot of wrestling games like this at the time. And in my opinion, this still holds up to this day. You can crap on the N64 controller all you want, but this game still is a lot of fun, and it controls very good. Um, yeah, just go play it. It's, it's a fantastic game. It really isn't that hard to find either. So now this next one, you gotta bear with me because I couldn't pick just one in this franchise. And uh, it's gonna be Grand Theft Auto. Any one of these you can pick for me and like, if it was just a randomizer and you said, hey, you gotta pay, play one of these for the rest of your life, I'd be okay with pretty much any of these. My favorite is probably Vice City out of the franchise, but you know, 3 is still really good, San Andreas is really good, and 5 is amazing. I love the other ones, I don't have them all yet, sadly. <laughs> but uh, GTA 4 is still a really good game, and if you give me that, I'll have endless amounts of fun. Just going around and doing whatever, doing crazy stunts by stealing a car and shit. You know, that stuff's a lot of fun in this game. And honestly, like, out of all the games I play, uh, GTA is the one I play the most. And I never get bored. Sometimes I just lay back, have headphones in, listening to music or a podcast or whatever. Shout out to the Squay Boys podcast. And I play GTA for hours. I just love it. Up next is going to be Pokemon. And it's going to be a controversial one because it's Pokemon and no one can agree on anything. But my pick is Pokemon Ruby version. Uh, specifically Gen 3, and uh, Gen 3 is my favorite gen out of all the Pokemon gens, mainly because it was my start. Uh, I did not play Pokemon Gen 1 or 2 when I was a kid. If you want to get real technical, the first Pokemon game I ever played was Pokemon Stadium on N64, and while that game is amazing, the first real Pokemon game I ever played was Ruby when I moved into Minnesota and one of my cousins had Pokemon on his Game Boy and I got a Game Boy for myself and he would let me play it obviously I couldn't get my own save file 
but yeah. And eventually, uh, after mowing some lawns and doing some chores, I eventually got my own. And honestly, like, I played this game to death. Uh, the, G the Game Boy Advance is such an amazing system. Very, very good. It has a very good library. And the Pokemon games are the reason for its success, I would say. Uh, it introduced the double battles, which are fucking amazing. Uh, the Hoenn region, in my opinion, is really, really cool, and there's a lot of water. It's a lot like Hawaii, and I really like the tropical-themed Pokemon. And, yeah, what else, what else can I say? It's Pokemon. It's Pokemon. You probably played this a million times over. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to play it a million times over. You know what? Fuck this video. I'm going to play some Pokemon. Awesome. I beat it again. Yeah, I actually was here for two days straight playing nothing but Pokemon. And that's why I was changed. As a matter of fact, someone actually came in here to physically change me. I didn't take a shower, but they just put they just put new clothes on me and that's how it happened. But uh, anyways, so number one, if you know me, you know I love me some Resident Evil. And you probably already know what number one's going to be because I talk about it forever. And it's going to be Resident Evil 2, specifically the original. I could play the remake any day of the week and I'd still not be bored. And uh, it's the same story in my opinion. It's, it's a really good game, honestly. Both of them are fantastic. And they're my favorite games of all time. Uh, as a matter of fact, like yesterday... I went through and beat Resident Evil 2 again, just for shits and giggles, and I still had the same amount of enjoyment as I would if I played this when I was a kid. Um, my first was the uh, N64 version, and honestly, like, I played that game to death. I remember going to my teacher saying, I killed a liquor, and honestly, it, those memories just come back, and the nostalgia just brings me back, and even not it isn't even the nostalgia. Like, Resident Evil 2 is, like, one of the best games ever made, in my opinion, of course. But, like, I just love the story. Leon and Claire are very good characters. I really like them. Uh, the bosses in this game are fantastic. William Birkin chasing you around the G-Virus. Um, Ada Wong is sexy as all hell in their remake. And uh, Sherry Birkin, while she was annoying in the original, they didn't make her better in the remake. And I could play both of them for hours. I can play them for the rest of my life and never get bored. And yeah, if, if it had to be, if I had to pick between these two, it obviously would be this one because this is my baby. And yeah, I love Resident Evil 2. As mentioned, there was going to be some honorable mentions because honestly, this list is too hard. And I, I can't just narrow it down to five, and there are some honorable mentions here. So I'm going to go through them really quickly. I won't go into detail of what these games are. Maybe I will in the future, but who knows. Uh, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time for the N64. Awesome game. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Sega Genesis. My favorite Sonic game of all time. Metal Gear Solid 1 uh, for the PS1. My favorite Metal Gear game. I know a lot of people love the other ones, but in my opinion... I think the first one's the best. Parasite Eve, one of the scariest and creepiest JRPGs of all time. And we definitely need a remake of this or at least give us something besides Third Birthday. Because Third Birthday, that was shit was terrible. Final Fantasy IX, my favorite Final Fantasy game. I could play this for hours as well. Um, the story in this is just fantastic. It's the best Final Fantasy in my opinion. Persona 5. Uh, this game is over 100 hours long, and I'll definitely get my time worth out of this. Katamari Damacy. You start out as a little guy, and you make a little ball, and eventually become a big ball. Uh, this game is basically that of drugs, and, and I'm not condoning any drug use on this channel, but this game is definitely something I do condone that people do and love. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, my favorite pro skater uh, of all time. Uh, not a skateboarder, never tried it. Probably fall on my face a lot. And uh, in this game, I do fall on my face a lot, but I'm not feeling any pain, and the soundtrack is awesome. And the last one is going to be 
Crash Bandicoot, the insane trilogy. Um, all three games are fantastic. The game looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, it controls very well. I love the controls. And it's Crash. Who doesn't, want, who doesn't love Crash? But anyways, that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go and check out JLove81 and Video Game Lover 53 and check out their videos as well because I'm going to leave the uh, channels in the description below and then you can find the video there. Anyways, I hope you have a good day and I'll see you next time. I want to give a big thanks to my patrons, Shaxry59, Stuff We Play, Warp Bay, and Nia Chan. You guys rock.